And here's the ultimate lost and found story. 12-year-old Christopher Lisi lost his baseball glove in Ohio 40 years ago. Fast forward to Wednesday. Christopher's mother, Julianne, was shopping in a thrift store more than a thousand miles away in Florida and saw something familiar. Yep, it was Christopher's glove. She knew because she'd written his name on it. And guess what? It cost her $1.49 to get it back. When we come back... It it's an incredible story that spans 40 years and covers 1,100 miles. Starts here in Willoughby with a baseball glove and somehow it ended up in Florida. P.J. Ziegler explains. The story begins at Todd Field in Willoughby 40 years ago. Then 12-year-old Christopher Lissy was playing in a championship tournament. He said that he remembers um, they took pictures and everything for the championship. They got the trophies and everything, and he must have left his mitt at the ballpark at Todd Field and Willoughby. Christopher went back the next day in search of his mitt. We never really knew, you know, that he had lost it. He didn't share it with us. Christopher's mitt may not be unique, but it is one of a kind. And I always put the names on the kids' gloves on the inside. On Wednesday, Christopher's mother, Julianne, paid a visit to a thrift store in Jupiter, Florida a mere 1,100 miles away from Willoughby. What she discovered is priceless. Made a tour around the shelves and everything just to see if I could find some treasures. And uh, on the bottom shelf sticking out was uh, his name. And my legs got shaky and wobbly and my husband thought I was in trouble. <laughs> the missing glove had been found after 40 years. The Lissies got it back for $1.49 your son's name on, on uh, a glove from miles away uh, after 40 years and you know I just can't believe it. Christopher is now a football coach at Thomas Worthington High School in Columbus. He saw the glove for the first time on Wednesday. I took a picture of it and sent it to him right away when I found it and his words were buy it. That glove is now headed to a Lissy trophy case where it will be the talk of the family for years to come. In Willoughby, P.J. Ziegler, Fox 8 News. Reunited once again all for a buck 49. Yeah, if you wrote that story, nobody would have believed it, right? Amazing. But it happened. Well, still to come here, a day on the... Almost 2,000 miles and more than 40 years later, a lost baseball mitt from Willoughby Little League turned up in a Florida thrift shop. In Florida. And you won't believe who found it. Channel 3's Don Kendrick has the story of how one man's trash became the original owner's treasure. 1978, Willoughby All-Star Tournament. Little 12-year-old Christopher Lisi hit two home runs to win four to two. That was the last time he saw that baseball glove. Lost it sometime after that, he thinks, here at Todd Park, downtown Willoughby. Well, fast forward more than 40 years to 2018, and Chris's mom, Julianne, and dad, Mike, are living in Jupiter, Florida now. It was a Wednesday thrift store tradition. Before I go to church, I always take a quick run to Goodwill, see what treasure I can find. In a million years, she could never have predicted the time-traveled treasure she found this Wednesday morning. On the bottom shelf, sticking out with the name for me to see, is my son's baseball club. Right there, clear as day. Christopher Lisi, in the handwriting from so many years ago, carved into that glove in Willoughby, Ohio. She was shaking her knees were wobbling. How do you ever put a price on that time capsule of a glove today? And it cost me buck forty nine. <laughs> paid $109 <laughs> Little home run hitting Christopher Lisi of 1978 is 52 years old today, coaching football at Thomas Worthington High School, south of Columbus. And if the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, just think of the story that goes with this glove's journey of at least 1,171 miles, a myth that ended up in mom's hands. Odds of happening are astronomical, absolutely. All started with a glove mom and dad bought more than 40 years ago in Willoughby, Ohio. Probably bought him a good will. <laughs> in Willoughby, I'm Don Kendrick, Channel 3 News. That is pretty amazing. That is crazy.
survive things like weather elements you know over yeah. a 40 year period it's amazing to think of and speaking about weather elements obviously today the big story was 